Chapter 15.2 Your Ending, My Beginning Seeing her reaction, Kinsey could guess that she already knew last night's matter. Originally, he had wanted to hide the truth from Lu Yao Yao. He hadn't realized that he had made so many traces. A moment ago, he had clearly noticed the traces on her neck and collarbone. It was impossible for her not to have noticed. It seemed that the worst possible scenario had occurred. Ginza closed his eyes. A moment later he entered the bathroom as in the past and changed. After quickly showering, he went to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. As a man, moreover a man pampered by his family, when he first moved out he didn't know how to cook. The first day of his move. Lu Yao Yao had come over to cook something in celebration. Not even mentioning the entire kitchen made into into a total mess by her, the food she made was inedible. Afterwards, Lu Yao Yao researched how to make food. In the end, Lu Yao Yao didn't know how to make anything, on the contrary, he had single-handedly improved his culinary skill. Actually, was that Lu Yao Yao's genuine goal? Ginza couldn't help but smiling at the thought of Lu Yao Yao's small thoughts. Lu Yao Yao searched a long time for clothes. Finally, she found a high necked shirt. In this weather, wearing this would be foolish, but she couldn't afford to worry about that. After wearing the clothes, she quietly opened the door and stuck her head outside the door to peek outside. Only when she discovered that Kinsey wasn't there was she reassured enough to walk outside. When she heard the sounds in the kitchen, she guessed correctly that Kinsey must be making breakfast. Lu Yao Yao peeked inside the kitchen and saw Kinsey's back busily making breakfast. In the past she hadn't thought so, but now she thought it was sweet. Seeing Kinsey suddenly smile. Lu Yao Yao's heart impulsively made her act. Being suddenly hugged from behind by Lu Yao Yao, Kinzi was in daze. Yao Yao, N. Lu Yao Yao tightened her hands. Although it was spur of the moment, once she had hugged him, she didn't want to let go. Kinzi drained the oil from the half ripe egg and set it down on the plate. He turned of the fire, then pulled off Lu Yao Yao's hands. Good, let's go eat breakfast. His body was warmer than hers. The scorching temperature of his hand on her made Lu Yao Yao unable to help. But remembering last night's events, she couldn't help but be a little shy. But she didn't want to let go. Let me hold on a little longer. Ginzi was silent, but didn't try again to pull off her hands. After a while, he said, Yao Yao, I don't want to continue on like this. What? Immersing herself in the sweetness between lovers? Lu Yao Yao was startled by him. Ginzi pulled off her hand and looked straight into her eyes, Yao Yao, let's talk about this. His expression was too calm. There was no trace of the expression of someone who was in love. Ginzi pulled her out of the kitchen. They sat at the two extremes of the two-person sofa. Ginzi's expression was calm while Lu Yao Yao was confused. What this was about? Ginzi saw her confused expression and was somewhat unable to be cruel enough to do this, but he forced down his heartache and said what was on his heart, I didn't sleep at all last night because I was thinking a lot, I thought if you forgot, then I would pretend that nothing had happened, I haven't forgotten, Lu Yao Yao unconsciously replied, yes, you haven't forgotten, Ginzi continued to speak, sorry, Yao Yao, I can't continue to pretend nothing had happened, last night you were really drunk, but I wasn't. I am very clear on what I did. What do you actually want to say? Could it be that him liking her was just her own self-delusion? But it didn't seem like to be like that. Lu Yao Yao was unsure. Yao Yao, perhaps you really think of me as older brother, but I never saw you as my sister. I can't continue to deceive myself. Ah? Lu Yao Yao blinked her eyes. What situation was this? Perhaps you wanted to act as if nothing happened, but I can't. Lu Yao Yao? The next time something like last night happens, I won't be able to stop myself. Yao Yao, I don't want to deceive myself and accompany you play this game of brother and sister together. In fact, when he left yesterday night, he regretted it. All night long, he had been struggling with himself. Lu Yao Yao continued to be stunned. After he had said everything in his heart, Kinzi felt more relaxed. It could be finished with this. Lu Yao Yao was struck dumb for a long time then finally said, you mean you thought that I wanted to act as if last night never happened? Ginza replied with silence. Lu Yao Yao was really angry. She raised her hand, but was unable to hit that silent face. She coldly said, 
then what are you planning to do? We can maintain some distance afterwards. If you have something you can still look for me, but not as an older brother. It seemed to cost Kins a great deal to say those words. After he said this, his upright body seemed to suddenly lose all strength. He exhaustedly leaned back on the sofa. Pu in front of Kins's questioning eyes, Lu Yao Yao couldn't help but laugh. She was laughing and crying. Yao Yao? Kinzi wanted to approach. But in the end didn't move. Sorry, I was just too happy. Lu Yao Yao wiped her eyes, looked at Kinzi whose entire face was full of doubt and said, Have you finished saying everything? Then it's my turn to speak. You think that I still like Chen Hao, right? Although Kinzi didn't reply. His expression showed his answer. Lu Yao Yao frowned, unsure of how to explain. You might not accept what I say. However, Currently I really don't like Chen Hao. What I said yesterday night is true. I also knew what I was doing. Kinzi, I want to be together with you. I want to be your girlfriend. Lu Yao Yao finished speaking and waited for Kinzi's reaction. However, his reaction was too calm. He was basically just expressionless. Lu Yao Yao couldn't help but be worried. She stared widely at him, looking straight into Kinzi's eyes. You don't believe me? Believing her was a little difficult. After working so hard for so many years, to suddenly encounter a favorable turn of events so easily, rather than being pleasantly surprised, he was shocked. It made him unable to believe. However, Lu Yao Yao's expression and words were both serious, making him unable to help but want to believe. Seeing his indistinct look of hesitation, Lu Yao Yao clenched her teeth and suddenly pounced on Kinzi's body. She held onto his neck and yelled, Aren't you going to take responsibility for me? I've been touched, hugged and kissed by you. What are you still thinking for? Kinzi, listen up. I like you. I like you. I like you. Lu Yao Yao's rage finally made Kinzi recover. He looked down at the girl in his arms with his face full of shock and joy. Yao Yao, was what you said real? It's fake. Lu Yao Yao flatly denied it. She unexpectedly said she liked him, even if it was false, he still wanted to believe it. Ginza really thought so at that moment. Looking at Lu Yao Yao pouting and had a face full of grievances sitting in his lap, Kinzi heart was mixed with all kinds of feelings. Was this finding a way out of an ampass one? If he had known earlier, then he would have fallen down sooner. The look in his eyes was too overt. Lu Yao Yao felt uncomfortable because of his very flagrant stare. However, she had always followed her heart. After a moment of hesitation, she expectantly closed her eyes, tacitly accepting his kiss. Her eyelashes faintly trembled, tickling his heart. Ginzi caressed her face, lightly kissing her. Actually, in the past, when Lu Yao Yao was asleep, he had secretly kissed her many times. However, this was his first time kissing her when she was awake and sober. The taste was much better than in his imagination. She just gently pushed twice. She didn't stop him or reveal the expression of loathing. She even jerkily returned his kiss. He finally started to believe that she wasn't joking with him. Lu Yao Yao, I love you. If this was a dream, then he never wanted to wake. Chapter 16.1 Why bother making things difficult for yourself? Their relationship seemed to be unexpectedly smooth. There was none of the setbacks and trials that they had anticipated. Everything went smoothly. The two people mutually liked each other, making everything simple. However, perhaps it was too satisfactory. It made Lu Yao Yao who had great difficulty in love previously be anxious. After confirming their relationship, other than the two people occasionally engaging in intimate activities, they didn't progress any further. Their behavior wasn't very different from what it had been in the past. Perhaps it was because it was Lu Yao Yao's first time taking the initiative, when they interacted, Kinzi seemed to be the passive party. Even when they kissed, he first ascertained that Lu Yao Yao was willing. The feeling of being respected was good, but she always felt that it felt a little too good. Oh. Lu Yao Yao couldn't help but heave a sigh, oh. Probably because she had heard Yao Yao sigh too many times, Dan Kin who was sitting next to Yao Yao couldn't help but sigh, Lu Yao Yao, if you have the time to sigh, you might as well focus on class. Lu Yao Yao looked at the textbook that hadn't even been opened on the table. She propped up her chin, depressed, Dan Kin, 
I'm quite worried. If you don't want to be even more worried, then you should concentrate on your textbook. Tan Kin was fully concentrated on the teacher on stage. The multitasking Tan Kin wrote notes while talking. Lu Yao Yao, have you forgotten that we have a test next week? What? Lu Yao Yao was somewhat shocked. Tan Kin finally glanced at her. She speechlessly said, you unexpectedly actually forgot. She had thought that the reason that Lu Yao Yao studied so hard last week was for the test. Lu Yao Yao face palmed. She really had forgotten. These last few days her brain was just filled with kinzi kinzi. Today, she didn't really want to go to class. God. She was definitely going to fail. Seeing Lu Yao Yao pitifully lying down on the table, Dan Kin smiled. These next two weeks, take my notes and study hard. You probably won't be able to get a good grade but passing won't be too difficult. Tan Kin, you're definitely my savior. Lu Yao Yao happily threw herself toward Tan Kin. Tan Kin held out a finger to repel her face and pushed her away. She used her eyes to indicate the teacher on top of the stage. Lu Yao Yao hurriedly behaved and sat properly. In the end, after behaving for a while, she started to be lost in her imagination again. At last class finished. Although it was already lunchtime, the burning hot weather made people lose their appetite. Walking along the sidewalks under the shade of a tree, it was hot enough to make people faint. The two people ultimately decided to go to a cold drinks shop inside the school and have desert. They looked for a vacant two-person table and ordered two coconut milk tapioca pudding one. Lu Yao Yao scooped out a spoonful and ate it. The coolness simply penetrated her heart. It was extremely comfortable. Although Tan Kin was also hot, her behavior wasn't as exaggerated as Lu Yao Yao's. She ate a little by little, slowly. It looked very refined. Lu Yao Yao gulped down a few spoonfuls to chase away the heat, then started to eat slowly. She suddenly thought of a problem. After finishing the sophomore year exams, it was time for internships. That was to say that she could enter her mother's company ahead of time. That was good. She was still worrying about studying clothing design. Entering the company to study was definitely the best choice. The two people quietly thought about their own concerns. Tan Kin suddenly said, Yao Yao, are you in a relationship? Lu Yao Yao blinked, how did you know? Tan Kin naturally touched the side of her neck. Lu Yao Yao immediately blushed. The hickeys on her neck had mostly vanished. There were only a few very light traces left. One could only see them up close. Seeing her expression, Dan Kin knitted her brows. Yao Yao, can I ask who you are seeing? Kinz, have you seen him? Toward her best friend, Lu Yao Yao didn't want to conceal her relationship. Then again, she didn't need to hide it from anyone. She looked forward to marking Kinz as hers. Tan Kin's expression relaxed. I've seen him. What do you think he's like? She didn't know if it was her misconception, but Tan Kin felt like Lu Yao Yao had quickly praise him written clearly on her face. Tan Kin thought a while, but didn't know how to praise her good friend's boyfriend. She couldn't bear to disappoint Lu Yao Yao's hopes so she said, he looked like a really good man. And then, he's very good to you. Anything else? He's very handsome. Tan Kin sighed. Her personality was indifferent. She was a little unable to bear Lu Yao Yao love struck face. Originally, according to her temper, she wouldn't say too much about her good friend's love. However, she was worried that Lu Yao Yao was associating with Chen Hao and would be hurt by him so she asked. Now because of she had questioned Lu Yao Yao closely? She immediately regretted speaking too much. She immediately shifted the topic. Were you worried about this today morning? Yes. Is your relationship not going well? No, it's going too well. Lu Yao Yao propped up her cheeks with both hands. Tan Kin was somewhat puzzled. Then what are worried about? I think the development is too slow. Slow? Lu Yao Yao wasn't a loose girl. However, she thought that she had confirmed her relationship with Kin Z from the beginning. She had wanted their relationship to last a lifetime. Kinsey wasn't an irresponsible person, so it would be fine to progress a step further. It was no embarrassment to think of this. It wasn't strange to have a need as a physically mature woman. But every time he teased her, he stopped short of the last step. It really made one spit blood too. Dot.
Why would she spit blood? She still slept apart from Kinsey. Did he have any awareness that he was her boyfriend? Could it be that she had to do a night assault? Was what wrong that her need was unsatisfied? But, this type of thing could it be that she, a girl, had to start it? Was that being in too much of a hurry? Certainly, this kind of private matter, it would be better not to, to tell Tan Kin. Although she had the tender skin of a twenty-year-old, her heart was already approaching thirty years old. It would be better not to poison another family's girl. Seeing that Lu Yao Yao didn't answer, Tan Kin didn't ask again. Originally, she wasn't curious about this. Chapter 16 Why bother making things difficult for yourself? After eating the coconut milk tapioca pudding, she really thought that sitting here too comfortable. Lu Yao Yao didn't really want to leave so she ordered double skin milk one. Yao Yao. Lu Yao Yao propped up her chin and had half closed her eyes. She was lost in thought, when she suddenly heard a voice call her. She lifted her head to see a woman she didn't want to see at all. Lu King King who dressed simply and presented herself as she was too said with a light smile, originally you were here, I looked for you a long time. Her tone was exceptionally amiable, it seemed like the two people were close friends, it seemed as though their fight and being slandered by Lu Yao Yao not too long ago had never happened, why are you looking for me? Lu Yao Yao raised her head and looked at her, her face didn't have any expression, Lu King King appeared to not feel her indifference, she still smiled mildly and said this weekend you didn't return home, so auntie had me deliver a package, glancing at the package that Lu King King placed on the table, Lu Yao Yao indifferently said, thank you, Lu King King seemed very shocked that she would say thanks. The mask on her face even cracked for a moment. She looked at Lu Yao Yao with some astonishment. Lu Yao Yao took the package on the table then said to Tan Kin, let's go, okay. Tan Kin tidied up her books and politely nodded to Lu King King as she got up. Then she left the cold drinks shop with Lu Yao Yao. Lu Yao Yao didn't care about this meeting, because to her, Lu King King was an immaterial person, the gratitudes and grudges from her previous life had already died along with their deaths along with her feelings towards Lu King King, she didn't think of her as a older sister anymore, there was nothing else than loathing, there was no need to continuously remember the people one loathed, then one wouldn't be able to find one's own happiness, as her old rival, Lu King King could clearly sense Lu Yao Yao's change. She looked at the two girls holding hands and leaving with her fingernails practically buried in her palm. She suddenly felt like her heart was empty, as though something were important was slowly leaving. Tan Kin turned her head to glance back at her and saw Lu King King looking lost, standing there looking at them, showing a faint smile. Tan Kin retracted her gaze, women would forever understand each other better than men, men would look and see her delicateness, her grievances, Tan Kin looked and saw her scheming, her idiocy, she provoked Lu Yao Yao to anger in order to make her look unreasonable and unruly, what seemed like a few accidental sentences vaguely disclosed some information, that Lu Yao Yao's reputation was so notorious was not unrelated with Lu King King accidentally disclosed words, yet, Lu King King thought of herself as clever, actually she was very stupid, if it was her, in such a family, she would do her best to maintain her relationship with Lu Yao Yao, she wouldn't try to use her inferior status to try to enter social circles that were many levels higher than her, draw back a step, even if she didn't have a good relationship with Lu Yao Yao, with her grades, why should she stay in the student association to gain a good reputation, with that time she could have multiple jobs, wouldn't that let her live innumerable times better than she did now, besides, it would also pave the road for her future career, to say it coarsely, with her face, she didn't have to worry about food or clothing, but, to the contrary, she refused to let go of her hatred of Lu Yao Yao, what importance did it have, to make things so difficult for herself, what advantage did it have, Tan Kin lowered her eyes, she truly treasured her pure friendship with Lu Yao Yao, originally, she was worried that Lu Yao Yao would be planned by that woman, now she saw that Lu Yao Yao wouldn't be, in fact, recently Lu Yao Yao had changed greatly, however, being like this was good, after all, her family wasn't in this city, after graduating, she wouldn't have many opportunities to meet up with Lu Yao Yao, at that time, even if she wanted to help she would be unable to do so, now that Lu Yao Yao herself could see through people, 
that was the best result. Besides, dot 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 Tankin looked at the person beside her whose face always seemed to have her emotions written on her face. Lu Yao Yao did what she pleased. In her heart, she envied that a little. Besides, at her side, she had won. One person who never abandoned her. Moreover, they seemed to have a result. Would being a naive woman be more happy? Perhaps. However, innocence wasn't something every woman could have. Because, undoubtedly, behind every naive woman was a courageous man giving her naivety. Chapter 17 Nobody loves you more than I do. When Ruan Sinan wandered past again, even Kinsey whose patience was astoundingly strong was irritated. The entire afternoon. This guy seemed like a fly. He buzzed and circled restlessly nearby. What do you want? Ginza closed the document and leaned back into his chair. Ruan C. Nan continued to circle very seriously. When Kinsey was already full of impatience, he finally said, Say, why would a woman who clearly likes you reject you? You bothered me this entire afternoon for this. Ginza had a headache and pressed his temples. Don't you always brag that you understand women the most? Why would you ask me this? Can't you see that I'm very worried? You're my best brother one. Unexpectedly, you're so indifferent to your best friend. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Ginzi wasn't even a bit ashamed. He just expressionlessly looked at Ruan C. Nan. Ruan C. Nan reluctantly spread out his hands. Forget it. I also didn't expect you this blockhead, to come up with anything constructive. Come on. Accompany your frustrated brother in drinking. Ginza lifted his hand to check his watch. When he looked at his left wrist and the string with blue stones on it, he suddenly remembered that he didn't have a wrist watch. This bracelet was exquisite and attractive, but on a man's wrist it was unavoidably a little odd. But because it was Lu Yao Yao who helped him wear it, even if he faced everyone's astonishment and mocking gazes, he still wouldn't take it down drawing his shirt cuff up to obstruct the bracelet from view, Kinsey looked up to see the clock on the wall, then he said, I can't today, later, I have to go pick up Lu Yao Yao, pick up Lu Yao Yao, Ruan C. Nan stroked his chin and looked at Kinsey oddly, say, recently when you leave the company early, it wouldn't be to pick her up, Kinsey was disinclined to care about him, he continued to read documents, that's not right, it isn't the weekend. Why would you pick up Lu Yao Yao? It could be that dot dot you guys are living together. Ruan Sinan's expression was a little shocked. He looked at Kinsey like he couldn't believe this. It couldn't be that something happened between you two that I don't know about. Seeing that Kinsey wasn't paying any attention, Ruan Sinan stroked his chin and pretended to be a detective. Although in the last meetup, Lu Yao Yao was drunk and their crowd of friends had created a disturbance to bet whether Kinsey would be a beast, actually, they were just messing around. They all knew in their hearts that Kinsey absolutely wouldn't do anything, because with, Lu Yao Yao's personality, if something occurred when she didn't want to do anything, then she would definitely hate Kinsey, hate him forever. How could Kinsey do anything that would make Lu Yao Yao hate him? But, the event that could let the feelings between the two accelerate, the greatest possibility was dot dot normally living together. In any case, they already lived together during the weekends. There was nothing strange about them living together when it wasn't the weekend. Actually those two were really laughable. They had already lived together these many years, however their relationship was unexpectedly chaste. If it was said out loud, who would believe it? If Lu Yao Yao was unable to see clearly. Then Kinzi was pitiful. That was because everyone knew that the only reason that Kinzi lived there was so that it would be more convenient for Lu Yao Yao. When Kinzi first moved in there, they called that place Kinz and Lu Yao Yao's sweet nest. Wasn't it Lu Yao Yao who initially said that as it only had one bedroom, friends wouldn't be able to disturb them? Those two were a perfect match. One obviously had someone she like, but she refused to let go of him. One was suffering to the point of death but refused to voluntarily let go of her. That Lu Yao Yao's personality changed to be like this had a lot to do with Kinsey's indulgence. Heavens! Ruan Sinan face palmed. Why did couldn't he help gossiping when he saw other people matters, but didn't want to understand his own matter? Seeing Ruan Sinan leaving the office with a face full of bitterness, Kinsey finally relaxed. Why did he have such a friend? However, this woman who clearly didn't like you, but insisted on associating with you, 
Why was that question mark too? I think this is typo. In the beginning it said like, but now it says doesn't like. I'm not sure which is correct. Perhaps it wasn't wanting to understand, but wanting to know an answer. After packing up everything, Kinsey took his car key and left the office. His company was located in the 27th floor of this commercial building. The time riding in the elevator wasn't short. It was good that it wasn't the peak time. Moreover, he used the high-level special purpose elevator. At this time, the possibility of bumping into someone was low. However on the 15th floor, he unexpectedly encountered someone. Ginza distractedly waited for the 15th floor person to board the elevator. He saw the opposite party and was surprised. Chen Hao quickly curbed the surprise on his face. He hung a warm smile on his face and said, Ginza N. Ginza nodded his head. His expression was as cold as before. In a single elevator, were the two men that to a certain extent understood each other the most. Their encounter seemed to be very ordinary with no great waves, but their confrontation had never stopped. Only they were clear in their hearts specifically how they dueled. Suddenly a ring broke the silence, singing the cover song, This man was once mine. Chen Hao eyes flashed. He was very familiar with this sound, it was clearly Lu Yao Yao's. Ginzi took out his phone. When he looked at the familiar name, his constantly ice-cold face finally had a happy expression, Hi, Yao Yao, Kinzi, are you still at the company? I am at home now. Why don't you pick me up after dinner? Okay. That's settled then. See you this evening. See you in the evening. After the phone call, the elevator fell into silence again. After going down a floor, Chen Hao went out of the elevator first. Then he discovered that Kinsey hadn't gone out of the elevator. The elevator doors closed with a ding. The other party's cold indifference unconsciously made Chen Hao clench his fist. It was always like this. That crowd of guys who considered themselves infallible always regarded him as a clumsy mischief doer. A foreign businessman. A rich upstart. Those two labels were like two immovable mountains, exerting a killing pressure on him. Taking a deep breath. Chen Hao revealed a neurotic smile. Even if they were even more arrogant, what use would it be? Ultimately they would all be defeated at his hands. Continue to pretend. One day, you must kneel on the ground and beg me. Actually, overthinking was a sickness. Chapter 17, No One Loves You More Than I Do, taking out his phone, Chen Hao dialed that phone number. However, it was the system message, sorry. The number you dialed is temporarily unable to meet your call. Please dial later. Chen Hao clenched his fist with a cold face and his phone produced a kaka sound. On the other side, Lu Yao Yao hung up and opened her blacklist. When she saw the series of identical phone number, she couldn't help revealing an expression of loathing. It was really hilarious. In the past, he had called her on his own initiative just a handful of times. But these few days the number of times he had called her was equal to the number of all the previous times. She put down her phone and continued to sort out her clothes. After determining her relationship with Kinsey, she usually lived with Kinsey. Finally, she discovered that she didn't have enough clothes to wear in the closet, so she chose a day to go back home and pick up some clothes. After filling two suitcases, she unwillingly called a stop. It wasn't that she wasn't willing to take more but Ginzi's house didn't have enough space. However, she didn't want to move. After all, they had lived there so many years. Also, although a big house was good, it wasn't as warm as a small house. When Fang Xilai and Lu Yu Anzai entered the house, they saw two suitcases next to the shoe rack. Lu Yu Anzai had no reaction, but Fang Xilai frowned. Lu Yao Yao was accompanying the two aunties by watching television. She saw her parents come back and beamingly greet them. After dinner, Fang Xilai called Lu Yao Yao upstairs. What's with the two suitcases downstairs? The mother and daughter pair sat on Lu Yao Yao's bed. Lu Yao Yao leaned her head on her mother's shoulder. Mom, I want to move out. Move out. N. Mom, I want to live with Kinzi. When she said this, Lu Yao Yao was somewhat nervous. Fang Xile wasn't actually surprised. She pulled Lu Yao Yao upright, looked at her daughter and said, Yao Yao, are you dating Kinzi N? Thick-skinned Lu Yao Yao blushed under her mother's gaze. Even if a woman's skin was thick, when discussing emotional matter with her mother, she would always be shy. Fang Xile sighed and brushed Lu Yao Yao's bangs off to the side. Yao Yao, 
have you truly decided? Lu Yao Yao bit her lip and said, Mom, are you going to stop me? If you are determined to do this, then Mom won't stop you. But I still don't want you to do this. Mom, I know you worry for me, but... Lu Yao Yao lay in Fang Xilai's arms and said softly, I believe that in this world, there won't be another man who loves me like Kinzi. Fang Xilai had known Kins as long as Lu Yao Yao. You could say that she had watched the two children grow up. She was very clear how Kinzi treated Lu Yao Yao. Yet in matters of love, no one could rashly surmise the ending. Perhaps, their relationship was good now, but it didn't represent that their relationship would be good in the future. Moreover, her daughter was just 20 years old. The still many days awaiting them, how could she give up her daughter to a man? Even if the other party was even better, she still wouldn't be willing. However, her daughter had grown up. She already had her own determination. It was impossible to continue to prevent her daughter from loving. Furthermore, Kinzi was someone that truly let one be reassured. Fang Xilai couldn't help but remembering another person. If it was Chen Hao, she definitely wouldn't agree. The mother and daughter pair spoke of intimate matters in their little nest. Lu Yao Yao originally wanted to ask about her mother's feelings toward her father, but, after all, Lu Yu Anzai was her father. Other than his personality having a problem, he hadn't done anything too excessive. On what basis could she criticize her parents' sentiment? Ultimately, Lu Yao Yao swallowed a lot of words down. Her mother wasn't a small child. She knew what to do. According to her mother's personality, if Lu Yuanzai ever did anything unfair to her mother after their marriage, then wouldn't they have already divorced? Furthermore, if her parents broke up because her father was indifferent to her, wasn't that too presumptuous of her? In the final analysis, Lu Yuanzai was very good to Fang Xilai. He probably wasn't satisfied that Fang Xilai gave birth to a girl. In the end, Lu Yao Yao told Fang Xilai about her desire for an internship. Fang Xilai listened to her reasoning and didn't hesitate. She agreed to let her enter the design department. When Kinzi came it was already close to 8 o'clock. Kinzi helped carry the suitcase to the car trunk. Lu Yao Yao sat in the passenger's seat and waited for Kinzi in the reflector. Lu Yao Yao saw Fang Xilai and Kinzi standing by the car trunk and saying something. Their voices were too low, she wasn't able to hear anything. She waited for Kinzi to board the car and smilingly asked him, What did you talk about with my mom? Why don't you guess? Perhaps because his mood was too good, Kinzi unusually cracked a joke. Seeing Kinzi's smiling face, Lu Yao Yao moved over and kissed his face. Humphrey, now you're finished. If you dare have illicit relations but abandon me later, then I'll stay at your family's house and refuse to leave. Later, you won't be able to do anything. Then I need to hurry and inform my mother not to let you in the next time she sees you. Ha ha, your mother won't refuse to let me in. Lu Yao Yao was like the second child in Kinzi's family. She was treasured. If the two of them quarreled, it was uncertain who would be refused to be let in. Kinzi's mother longed for her to marry into their family. Thinking of this, Lu Yao Yao was dazed. In fact, probably everyone was aware of their feelings, only she didn't completely understand. Seeing that Lu Yao Yao suddenly fell in a daze and stopped speaking, Kinz also didn't speak again. He always thought it was a little unrealistic. Lu Yao Yao truly wanted to live together with him. She wasn't jesting or cracking a joke. He couldn't help but remember the words that Fang Xilai had just said. I originally didn't approve of Lu Yao Yao moving out. However, Lu Yao Yao that in this world though won't another man who loves her more than you do. Do you think you can live up to those words? Of course. How could there be someone who loved Lu Yao Yao more than he did in this world? Kinzi was very self-confident regarding this point. Lu Yao Yao, there isn't anyone who loves you more than I do. Kinzi couldn't help smiling. Regardless what had brought on Lu Yao Yao's change, he had to treasure this opportunity. He would hold on to it. He wouldn't drop it.